Hello and welcome to Artisan Quick Tips with Jennifer. Artisan is a digital scrapbooking software um, created by Forever, a company called Forever, and it's amazing and you can do a million, million things with it. And my little quick tips series shows you the, a few of them sort of one by one. So today we are going to look at uh, using templates or, or pre-designed pages. You can design things yourself in Artisan, but there are also um, options for uh, having someone else make all the pretty stuff and you just sort of adjusting it and personalizing it. So if you are unfamiliar with Artisan, let me show you a few um, fast facts about Artisan. Go ahead and pause this recording, look it over and uh, replay the recording. You'll see the website down at the bottom. That's my website where you can purchase Artisan. And of course, my email address if you have any questions. All right, so let's look now at Artisan. How do you use a pre-designed page or, or a template? Um, some of them you can purchase from forever. Some of them uh, are free. You can just download and you can also use your own um, purchased digital art uh, collections as well. All right, so there are two ways to access templates and add pages from templates into your forever um, project. Now you'll see over here the little thumbnails of my current project. This is my practice project. This is where I play around and just see what you can do and, and do things for fun. So. Um, I right now have highlighted page 10. That's where I'm going to add a template page. You can do that in two ways. One of them is right here. If you click the home tab up here, this ribbon will show and you can uh, mouse over that little black diamond, which is a drop down menu. And you can add, use a template page from an art kit. You can click that, I should say. Or I think personally, a little bit of an easier way is to come over here to the page that I'm working on, page 10. And again, I have the little black arrow also, the little drop down menu, and I can select insert a pre-designed page. So I click that and now it gives me a whole bunch of different options. These, um, you can see like this one was a freebie. I just downloaded it from forever for free. Uh, this was another one that's a freebie. This is one that I bought. And you can see when, when I click, where was it? Blessings. That's just one page. Those are, those are all my options for that little collection, if you will. Um, Family Yearbook 2, though, has two pages for every month of, of the year. And so there are different, you can see as I kind of scroll down, there are different things that I could choose, different pages. So right now I'm just gonna go ahead and click the November page. Once I've chosen what I want to put in my book, I click right here, add selected page. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> now I can, um, and it takes just a minute for it to, to come up, but um, now I can put in pictures in those little, in those little photo holders here. I could, uh, you know, click and move them around a little bit if I want to. Um, I could put a text box here or, or all sorts of things now that I have put this, this template page into my book. The other thing that I want to show you about using a template is that some of them, some of them are just built this way. Um, you know, the pa papers are, papers are there and uh, you can drag them and move them and delete them if there are too many photo holders or you know whatever you want but some um, you can actually sort of uh, you can use what I call a fill so let me show you one example so you can see here whoops I moved something so I wanted me to save it okay so you can see how this this is also a template you can see that it's all gray it's all gray you know, colors, right? So if I want to change that, I can actually, which I have, put some, you know, other other colors and and um, 
other papers in there and stuff. So let me show you how to do that, what that looks like. So I'm gonna show you that using this template, template page. So when I click over here on this sort of lightest of these three colors that are here, there's sort of a medium teal, light teal, dark teal here. I clicked on one of the ones that was the lightest one and they are all grouped together. So what I can do is I can come over here to my content over here at the right. And well, I won't spend too much time going through all my content. We'll just use this that's already here. So I'm gonna click on my red checkered paper, drag it over here on top. And it didn't work, hold on. <laughs> Let me pause and make sure I'm doing this right. All right, so I have clearly not done that for a little while. So here, I realized what I did wrong. Okay, so um, I'm gonna click on this light one, lightest color one, and I dragged it before, don't do that. Uh, come over to the, the paper that you want, click this drop down, and you select fill selected shape. So all these shapes over here that are selected, they're grouped together. If I click fill selected shape, it will fill those with my paper. Watch. <gasps> All right. Now, obviously, I only have two papers showing because I've I've um, narrowed it down so much. But let's see if we can have some other papers. There you go. So these won't match, but at least I can show you how to do this. So I clicked sort of that medium color, fill selected shape. Watch what happens. Ta-da! And let's do the dark one, move this one, fill selected shape. So there are some um, templates that you can apply papers to. So um, that's kind of a, a really neat feature. Let me show you back again on that one page that I was telling you about. Yes, save my changes. So you saw before that this one was gray and then I, I changed the colors. So I filled a, a paper on this one, just like I did, which I showed you just now. But let's say that um, on this, well, this is how I made these dots that color too. But let's say if I click this and I wanna just change the color of it, I can right click and click fill and then solid color. And then I can go and choose some of the colors on this page, some standard colors, et cetera, and adjust that, you know, change that. Used to be gray and now it's red. So anyway, those, that's how to use templates and sort of um, play with them a little bit. So templates and pre-designed pages are a really fun way in Artisan to come up with some fancy, beautiful stuff without having to, you know, element by element put your page together. So thanks for watching.